Hello, hello. Now it's time to check the demo of Lazarus. This is a psychological horror puzzle game. One of the many that came out uh, the last years. Uh, and let's see if this actually can uh, do something different from all the others we've tested. Uh, and uh, if this is actually a pretty cool horror experience. Now, first of all, let's uh, check the options here. Okay, let's see. Uh, Let's go for 60 frames, even though, yeah, we can go all the way to 144. Yeah, at the moment on the menu, have like 300 uh, frames. Everything is on Ultra, okay. Now, I think this game is on... Uh, oh, sorry. This is made on Unreal 4, what, what you can see on the executable file. Master volume, yep. Hold, dongle, yeah, now, let's see. Motion sickness. We recommend leaving these options on unless the camera sway is causing discomfort. Head pop intensity and ocean sway intensity. Yeah, from what I have uh, gathered, this game uh, takes place on a on a ship, so there is always the the sway of the boat of the of the ocean. So yeah, I like how they actually have uh, options here, so we can uh, remove this sway if it makes uh, us uncomfortable. I think I'm gonna leave it for now see how intense it is and then we might reduce it like to 50 percent now okay i think we're good let's go gamma correction uh i'm just a slider the logo on the right is barely visible yeah i think it's barely visible i think we're okay okay now let's start and see if this is any good let's dive into lazaret i guess that's the name of the ship Four years ago, a ship called the MTS Endurance disappeared on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. It has recently re-emerged. You are a member of the rescue crew sent to investigate the distress signal coming from the once lost cargo vessel. In the harsh weather conditions, the rescue operations went awry. You are the only member of your team who made it on the ship. You head below deck to look for any signs of life. Hmm, this reminds me of an old, uh, yeah, I think it was 90s uh, sci-fi horror movie. Let's see if this has a similar plot. I guess, I think the movie was called Signal. If I remember correctly. Oh, we can move. I, th I thought it was still loading. Hmm. Okay, decent textures. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. We might have to reduce the sway. Hmm. Okay, let me see here. Hmm. Yeah, of course it moves like a boat. I guess we have to get used to this movement. So far, so good. Even though I hear that there is motion blur when we move. And also there is... Um, uh, I cannot um, change the FOV. By the way, can I disable... Uh, uh, Post-processing. No, we cannot... Uh, Come on, let me have a specific uh, option for motion blur. Don't tighten it with uh, post-processing or effects. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, this makes the lighting look so bad. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have to live with the uh, motion blur. Uh, is it okay now? Yeah, I think we're the game. Nothing here? Okay, so far I cannot interact with anything. Oh, I cannot run? Browse. Oh, 
Okay, nice physics. Hello? Okay, I guess we go that way. Now I'm curious, give me a second. So if I disable them all together, the ship will not move at all. Let's see, since there was more movement on this part, so let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it somewhat uh, loses some of the atmosphere, but yeah, this will make it way, way better for some people, for sure. So yeah, that's, this is a pretty cool option to have. Okay, l let's add a bit of sway. That's So we're gonna feel that we're inside the boat. Uh, let's get that here. Uh, let's go 70 or something. Okay. Yeah, some uh, corridors are swaying less. Hello? Oh yeah, now it goes faster again. Hmm. Okay, I guess we have to find the, the code for this one. Is there a map or something? No, no inventory. Hmm, what's this way? Elevator. Another door we cannot open. Yeah, I guess running doesn't work at the moment. We probably will be able to run when we encounter an enemy. Oh, what was that noise? Hmm. We go down. Hello? Okay, so far no one is here. But I guess we're gonna find out what happened to the crew. Huh? What the fuck is this thing? I don't have a flashlight. Is that... Is this a body covered with barnacles? It looks like a mannequin. Damn you. Horror games and their creepy mannequins. Dude, seriously, just grab the fucking hammer. Okay, I guess we go here. We don't have many choices when it comes to where we can go. Yeah, I hate we cannot see our legs. Huh. Okay. Okay, that creepy thing didn't move. What the fuck? Hello? Yeah, it's something... Like something drained this guy. Okay, I guess we go that way. Yeah, so there is indications on where to go, but I guess this is like the tutorial of the game. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, we can hide. Hmm. Okay, I guess uh, this will be like an uh, outlast. We'll have to hide around. Oh! Ah, what is this? 
Oh, is this the code we were looking for? One nine forty-seven. Oh, if it, if this, is this a date? Nineteen forty-seven. Hmm. Yeah, there are so many games with mannequins lately. I think we have played at least uh, four games on this channel with mannequins, with creepy mannequins. Now let me see if I can actually open that suitcase now before we continue. Oh, he was calling some numbers. Hmm. Five, five, one, one. It was like a pre recording message. Aha. Okay, I was right. Anchor relic. Okay, let's see if we actually trigger something now. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, the movement feels a bit... Oh, fuck. Okay, so that thing was alive. I was about to say, the movement feels a bit floaty, especially when you go downstairs. Let's be... let's be stealthy here. Hello? Hello? Barnacle man? Seriously, dude, just... Grab the fucking hammer. Okay, just steal their place. Cannot be broken by hand? Yeah, of course it cannot be broken. But there was a hammer there. Anyway, let's go. Oh, nice. Something is pulling uh, the bodies. Can I crouch through there? No. Oh. Yeah, so we cannot use the hammer to break that thing. Oh. Hello there. Yeah, this thing triggered right now. Hello? Yeah, this reminds me of the... the operation on the... <laughs> the mortuary assistant. Yeah, that's a pretty unique way to open a door. Yep, it's pretty dark. Like is something is swimming there. I'm pretty sure these chains will be the bane of my existence later on. If I touch them, there will be... Oh, there will make noise and uh, this thing will... Come chasing me. Okay, someone is here. Okay, so far we're starting decently. When it comes to atmosphere. 
Hello? Another barnacle man. That weird uh, mannequin thing. Hello, are you gonna point like the other game on what I have to do? No, we can actually go and interact with this guy. Hello? What the fuck was that noise? Oh, okay, now we can run. Okay, so something will happen now. We are locked running. Actually, we can also hide and run. Okay. There will be something triggering here for sure. Let's see if I'm right. No? Okay, man, I'm pretty sure it will be a jump scare soon. Hello? Uh, hello? Can I come towards you? Are you okay? Okay. Yeah, at this point, you just jump on the sea and say, fuck it. I'm not gonna stay on this ship anymore. Uh, was this the door? Yeah. Okay, so it's split into stages, I guess. Can I go back? Oh, okay, we can return back. Hmm. Okay, fast loading, that's good. So, we might have to go back. Uh, there might be some backtracking. Let's run. Hello? Another creepy fella. Two of them. And of course, long dark corridors. Is there anything here? Hello? What's up, boys? Oh, we can keep going down, I think. No, I think the la these stairs are broken. Yep. Okay, so we cannot hide on all the... those things we can find, or the lockers. Oh okay, yeah, let's go. Let's trigger the next event. What the fuck? Okay, that's a rather unique door.
Hello? The sun and the moon. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Oh, okay. Things are getting interesting. Is a Dago gonna come out of that uh, screen? Oh, look at that! Damn, we're on Half-Life. Half-Life 3 confirmed, we have a... a crowbar. Seriously, out of all the things you can find on this ship, this was the only one you decided to get Okay, big crowbar. Now what? Hello? Yeah, we cannot see anything that way. Okay, so I guess we cannot interact with uh, most things in this world. The game actually tells me where I can uh, interact. So, so far we don't have many options. Oh, hello! You really like to sneak on me, huh? Okay, I think we'll have to go up again. Or can I? Can I open this thing here? No. I guess we have to find the moon and the sun and go back on that. Oh. Hmm. Was there another door that I cannot open? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there is the things we have to break the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, there are those uh, planks we have to destroy down on the... This way, eh? And go towards the... The same direction that thing was uh, pulling the body on the crawl space. Okay, so far the lighting... And the graphics are decent uh, on this game. Okay, no animation for me breaking those things. Next stage. Oh, so we're actually gonna go towards the crawl space, really? The statues start to appear on the third day. It was just one or two at first, but more will show up every day. And by the end of the week, there were dozens of them. Multiple pages have been torn out. Some of the statues started moving. They've killed three people already. When evacuating the garden areas, I whistled to get the crew's attention, and one of the statues whistled back. We've only had one more fatality in the last week. The sending uh, statues will always whistle back. Hmm, let's see. The sending statues will always whistle back, and it's proven an effective way to avoiding danger. Though they won't respond if you are too close. Still, I think it will be best for the rest of us to find a safe place to hold up. Multiple pages have torn out. There is not many of us left now. The engines have stopped, but we can get to the bridge. There is something else on this ship and it stalks the corridors looking for survivors. The safest place for us... Yeah, that actually scared me there. The safest place for us right now is in this room. I just hope we're rescued soon. And now we have Whistle. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, this reminds me... It's like we're playing an episode of Doctor Who. We're on a boat with those angels.
Okay, that way is the... <laughs> a creepy dude. Can I close the door? Oh! Finally, we have flashlight! Okay, so if there are no batteries, I'm gonna keep this all the time. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is somewhat a unique idea with the whistle. Okay, I guess we go down again on these uh, dark corridors now that we have the, the light source. You motherfucker, there is someone down. <laughs> this is somewhat silly though. Hello? Okay, so there is an enemy here. Oh, you motherfucker. Will these guys attack me if I go close? I think they are down that way. somewhere there yeah you really have to play this with the headphones hmm yep. sorry let's go this way first damn now we're getting really deep into the atmosphere Okay, nothing close by. Can we hide? No! Okay, so there is this safe here. Okay. Nothing, okay. Let's Oh, oh, oh. No. For sure there is an enemy there. But we don't have any... Oh, fuck it. We don't have any choices. Let's go here. Hello? Yeah, stay there. Okay, so we skip those guys. Yeah, here is the place we put the crowbar. There is a hiding spot. Oh, some of these guys are alive. Okay, I don't see any interactive spots here.
Okay, so we need the code for the for the safe. Yeah, uh, somebody tells me this will be the final door. Yeah, I wonder if they actually interact with the light. Do they react to the light? Can be opened by hand. What? Can I use the crowbar? By the way, give me a second. I uh, don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have an inventory system, so... I just have to have the right item for the right spot, and that's it. Why? Should I hide here or something? No, I think that's for the big enemy we might encounter later on. The one thing that was stalking, stalking all the crew members. According to that memo, that uh, notes left behind, that journal. Mm, I think I haven't explored this corridor. Oh yeah. Okay, it was pretty obvious, but I didn't notice. Is this the guy? Yeah, we don't left. We don't have a shadow. Oh my god, we're ghosts! Okay, it's this way. Don't scare me like that. Okay, we cannot open that. Not yet. What the fuck? Okay, so yeah, the game... This is like the tutorial. The game let, lets me know when to hide. What the fuck is that thing? Big Daddy, is that you? Back from Bioshock? What the? Okay, he's full of barnacles too. Was he wearing a helmet? He sounded like he was breathing through a helmet. Okay, so that was the, the first trigger uh, of this guy. Do we have to avoid him now? Okay, I guess now the other door... Yeah, it's open. Okay, so... We have something with a key here. Okay, so this is like a cloak. Yeah, okay, and... I think we might need another hit for this thing. Okay. Let's see if there is anything else here. Yeah, okay, we need that. The tape or something. For this thing to project. Oh, there is the clock. 
Huh. Okay, eleven and seven. Huh. Okay, let's see if this is the the solution here. So eleven thirty-five. Let's see. Yeah, I was wondering if there is a clock uh, somewhere. Aha! Okay, nice. Okay, we've got the screwdriver. Now what? Now, do we use that? Oh! Okay. Yo, do we use that on the lock? On the locked box? Everyone is fucking teleporting here. That guy, either he's really fast or he can blink. He blinks around. Let's see, can I open this? Hmm. Okay. Uh, that, what do we do with the screwdriver? Now oh, let me think. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The vent, the vent went uh, on the place where the four bodies were, the four uh, statues. Yeah, I totally forgot about the vent. Now it's yeah here. Okay, now can we go in the vent? Oh fuck, let's go. Okay, nice. Hello? Okay, moon sigil for the last door. Okay, the slides. And I guess this is the door that we open from this side. Yeah, okay, nice. Now ah, let's go. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna go this way too. Let's go towards the projector. And let's hope we don't have the big boy. Okay, so there is something there behind the box. Behind the... Ah, okay, okay. So there is something hidden on that room. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, you fucker, you scared me. Okay, now where was the lockbox? Let me get my... My bearings here. Uh, okay, yeah. So... was back there okay so we come here yeah the box was here okay so there is something hidden aha uh -huh. Okay, so now we can trigger this.
Uh -huh, and that's how you open that. Okay, and now we can actually go to the sun and moon door. And I bet after I get this, the big guy will spawn. Let's see if I'm right. Where are you, big daddy? No big daddy? Okay, that's surprising. <clears throat> no! Here he is. Look at that, it's Big Daddy version 2. Hello? Open up! Oh my god, the, the slowest door ah! in all existence. Can I keep playing? Ah, run! Oh, okay, he's slow. We can do this. Hello? Oh my god, Mr. X is coming for me. Oh, another slow door. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I think the Wilhelm Scream fit that place really well. Thanks for playing the Lazarette demo. We're hoping to release the full game early in 2023. If you enjoyed the demo, consider wishlisting the game on Steam. Okay, that was pretty decent. Okay, that was uh, pretty interesting. Uh, when it came to atmosphere, the game has a pretty good sound design. Uh, graphics are pretty good, decent. And I thought that this... Uh, the sway of the ship will uh, get um, get me motion sick, but I think if you tweak it a bit, uh, it's okay. You get used to it after a while. Now, what I didn't like is that uh, the game seems to be really linear. You just have to go on a specific spot, the specific time to trigger an event, and continue the experience. It's like a these kind of horror games are like a, somewhat like a, a a ride on a theme park. You just keep going and uh, wait for the jump scares, or the, and you hope that the building of the atmosphere they have can actually carry the horror elements. Yeah, I prefer horror games that are more uh, unpredictable. Uh, but yeah, well, later on, this guy that hunts you down, he might appear left or right, like on Ellen game with an Ellen Ripley. So if something like that happens, and this guy spawns at random points, and you have to run and hide, that might be that might spice things up a bit even though it might get, become boresome if you just have to play hide and seek all the time but yeah uh, other than that yeah performance was pretty good uh, we have stable 60 and i think we can even run this higher on 140 frames or something so yeah if you like uh, these puzzle horror games i think you sh you should check this thing out it's pretty decent but yeah l let's hope it actually has have some uh, new ideas later on yeah we have a uh, mannequins again and this is like the sixth game i play with uh, the creepy mannequins we have uh, this yeah somewhat same puzzles at least on this tutorial area but yeah i'm, I'm hopeful that the game has better things uh, down the line that was the demo of lazaret yeah i hope you like it